back home to suspend buying of Christmas clothes, Christmas rice and chicken and get their account activated and why? Let's absolutely. I'll, I'll do that absolutely. That, that is what I was even doing when we were in the final position. Anytime I go to the store, I look at the price. And if, if it's beyond some limit, I said, this can buy one account. And uh, I stopped buying stuff for my kids for holidays and everything, and even back home, because that same amount of money you use to buy the accounts or pay for your subscription, within months, years to come, you can buy 10 times or 100 times fold of what you didn't buy when you plan to stop this. Thing. So it's like a seed. You plant one seed in a farm, let's say a corn seed, you put one seed in, in, in the ground and look at how many uh, seed of corns you have. So that is a, a principle. You sacrifice for tomorrow because what is coming is plentiful, it's uncountable un un and unmeasurable. So it's advisable to, 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 to do that. That's what I can say. Things that when we found out in passive and found out exactly what it was, we tried to advise people back home not to do because back home people sell family properties, landed properties, you know, prop, all kinds of stuff. They borrow money just to get children to study abroad and get a lot of education and stuff. But then when we're doing the registration, we say, stop buying. If you can borrow money now, just borrow a hundred and three and two dollars, get an account in passive. This is another moment for you. If you're already a registered founding member, if you really have to borrow money, let it be $93. Or if you're a new affiliate, let it be uh, say $200 and get this account activated. Don't borrow money this season or the savings that you have made for children's Christmas stuff. Explain to them that we are paying for better Christmases and better futures. If they don't understand now, they will say thank you in future. Let me add my voice on that. Uh, thank you, Sister Comfort. Yeah, um, I think uh, you guys have reiterated very, very good today. Just stay engaged, stay plugged in. We are very blessed to be here, every single one of us. Thanks, Comfort. I'm grateful, thankful, and blessed. Let's keep planting those seeds and reap what we sow. I told my children and grandchildren not to expect a gift for Christmas. And I'm in Canada. I said, many gifts coming, but not this year. Maybe yes. Next. So keep planting the seeds, blessing others, and all mm -hmm. will be well. Thanks, Comfort. Thank you so much, everyone. Always nice to see you on here. I'm just amazed and grateful of the discount mm -hmm. that we got. And I'm in agreement with you regarding trying to explain to our children, to our grandchildren, because in Africa, uh, and I'm sure in many countries and some families, even here in the United States, Christmas time is a big time that people want to really show love through giving. But this year, I think many of us are going to sacrifice and we are talking to our people for them to understand that we are trying to lay a stone that is going to be a legacy for the family. And it's interesting to see how many are, you know, ready to sacrifice to forego this Christmas, but enjoy the love and the company of being together. I don't know if you addressed this, but because so many people are asking, why did we pay 143 and some have only now to pay only uh, $90? I, I can give an example. I put the blouse uh, two weeks ago for $20. My neighbor bought the exact same blouse from the same store for $80. Am I going to be upset that she got the sale? So sales happen all the time. And I think for those who are blessed enough to be able to pay that subscription early, we should be happy that, you know, some families are getting this relief. For some, the $50 is a Christmas ash put back yes. to their home so that families can eat something. To some, it's that last 5000 that they needed, you know, last $50 they needed to subscribe. For This means a lot. To some, it might not, but I can tell you, this $50 means so much to some families. So we just thank God. I thank God for Mr. Ash and for everyone. And you who are here, who gets it, please 
let's be the mouthpieces to encourage those who out there who really want on passive on passive and believe in on passive but they need a little bit of courage but for those who don't want on passive and who are being very negative i have to be honest that this time i think we just have to step up <clears throat> It's a business and accept it as our business and take care of it. You know, on passive is not a prison. Nobody's forced to be there. We came in freely and we can live freely. But we have chosen to hang in with patience because we see what we are expecting, or at least we have hope for a better future. Thank you so much. Back to you, Sister Comfort. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, I'm not calling Dr. Bill because after I call him, people nobody will speak again. So that's my last card, please. I'm keeping it jealously. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, Graham, you're raising your hand. I give you, I give you 30 seconds right now. Go for it. Yeah, it's just I missed my, my chance to speak. I just want to say thanks for having me on. And also just to remind yourself, in a year's time, next Christmas. We're going to have make so much difference to so many people, hundreds of millions, maybe billions, by this time next year. Yes. And yes. Um, just listening to everybody speak. I didn't speak earlier because I've had a chesty cough and I felt uh, one coming on. Um, so I just wanted to say that, that we, the, the hundreds of millions or billions of people, because of Mr. Ash's dream, uh, Ash's dream and... Us participating, there are so many people, children, even adults, everyone in the world, so far over the world, that will have a much better life and a much better Christmas next year. Right. Thank you so much. So, Rob, you contributed today from a very different perspective that made me really happy. Do you have a quick closing remark? 31.3 seconds. <laughs> It took me that long to figure out where the unmute button was. Oh, <laughs> I know. I <laughs> uh, just want to reiterate what's been said a couple of times in the other closings. Stay focused. Get in your OES. Get in your O-Founders. Mm -hmm. Don't miss a pop-up. Don't miss a ticker. Uh, watch the chats that are on, uh, you know, day in and day out. Watch the webinars. Uh, but just remember the solid, positive Go ahead with this thing. Information comes only from corporate. Thank you. All right. Thanks. So I'll give one chance now to Jean, Michael, and then Dr. Bill Williams. I'll drop the mic. Thanks, Comfort. Um, I, well, I want to reiterate what Graham said is that, you know, this year uh, and Gladys, this year may be a, a, a Christmas about, uh, you know, just family and togetherness and not so much the material things because we're uh, building a foundation of our companies and putting our money into that. But next year will be transformative. It will be, it will be able to bless so many others. But I also wanted to say um, so many people are thinking of themselves as regular customers right now and behaving, you know, with the products and whatnot, but we will never be regular customers. We will never, we are founding members of a trillion dollar AI tech company that is going to change the world. So we may want to step back and, and be part of the journey with all of the ups and downs and sideways experiences and, um, and not expect as regular customers, but as founding members and, and be grateful for the privilege of that journey and knowing that one day we'll be telling our children and our neighbors and whatnot that we were part of this, um, the, the changing of the world. And uh, so I, I just want to add that. Thank you so much, Comfort. Thanks. Thank you. Brother Michael, please. Okay. Uh, Brother Frank is here. So because he's raising his hand, he'll speak after Brother Michael. Go on, bro. All right, thank you, Sir Comfort. Uh, quickly say, what I keep saying is we to understand and follow our leader. Understanding makes the difference. For example, as we are here, we are speaking English and we all understand and guess it. So everything that is being said, we embrace it fully, wholeheartedly. There is a language that our CEO is speaking. And until we understand and follow him, some of us will think it's a joke. But I would encourage all of us to try to understand him, study, and follow his instruction, and we'll get to our destination. Thank you very much.
Powerful, bro. Thanks. Frank, did you just raise your hand? It's because it's you. I I, I didn't want anybody to come after. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I did. I, I was so to behind the wheel. That's why I couldn't attend to you. Sure, sure. I, I just want to say, um, just address a group of people. I mean, some of uh, the founders. I'm just talking to those who are really going through hard times. Those who are ill, who has family members that are going through hard times. Mm -hmm. Look, um, our founder, our CEO, he knows and he hears us. And that is why he came out with this company in the first place. So we should all be hanging there because he's doing everything for us. No matter what we are going through right now, there's going to be a moment, there's going to be a time we'll be smiling. So whatever you do, do not die. Just hang in there. Hmm. And soon we all be smiling. Thank you, Sister Comfort. Wow. Hello. Thanks. Thank you so much. So, Dr. Bill Williams, after you, we drop the mic. So, we have the floor. I am so pleased to see you, Comfort. Thank you so much. And all your other guys, all my friends, I so love being here with you. I can really agree with Ram. His positive outlook on life should be reflected everywhere. And I like the wisdom that Michael has, you know. Delayed gratification is important. We can do this thing in the right order. So I want to just say this. You're part of the MA team, migrated, act, affiliated, and activated. The MA team, or if you want to say migrated, affiliated, and subscribed, it's the MAS. So we are more when we are affiliated, more when we're subscribed, more when we're migrated. So many people are not part of the MA team. There are no MAS. We knew better than that. So I wanted to uh, leave you with the final thing is um, remember Stephen Covey's seven habits of uh, highly successful people. One of the uh, important management tools of the past 30, 40 years. Now, Stephen Covey said there's a box of four things that you need to always focus on from low importance to high importance and from high urgency to low urgency. You focus on the things in front of you the way you need to focus and you'll get more done. So if we look at box number four, the things that are urgent but not important, what do you do? Urgent but not important. You delegate them to somebody else who can do it for you. Number three, the box. Not important and not urgent. What do you do? You dump it. You don't even get it done. You don't care about it. It doesn't matter. How much of the things that we do are in that category? Some people have uh, turned the TV off. Some people have turned off so certain social medias. Uh, maybe reading the newspaper, watching the news even. Number two, important but not urgent. You decide when to do it. You put it on your calendar. You make a to-do list and it goes at the bottom of the list, but you still got to do it. But what's number one? Urgent and important. Those are the things you do right now. And so in on passive, we have each of those things in the four boxes, right? And if you want to be highly successful, you got to figure out today what goes in box one, what goes in box two, and three and four. And when you have organized your day by the four boxes, you'll get a lot more done than if you don't have a plan. So get up in the morning and start organizing the box, make your to-do list and get done what's important to get done. Delegate those things that can be done by somebody else and uh, structure. I always look at when I'm teaching something in on um, passive, I'm teaching what do I need to do today based on what Ash told me last week? Is there something that changes about what I do every day based on what he said? And it does happen when we get a new piece of inventory, a, a new uh, module, a new something that adds to our knowledge, to our ability to sell something, to promote something. 
it opens up the ears of somebody outside who is a customer. And so I'm always listening for new customer connections. And that's why every, every week I hope to find some new person to be interested in on passive because there's something new that we can offer. And wouldn't it be wonderful when all the pro- product products are really available to show them too, not just the name of it, but how it works. That's going to be exciting. We're going to go in gangbuster speed when we have all the products to show them, right? O-Connect is just the beginning, and I'm looking forward to that day. And with each product that's added will be an income stream. So we don't have to worry about our income growing. We just had to get it started, and then it's going to take off. Well, thanks for letting me be on here, and I'm sure somebody's going to say something else. Thank you, Dr. Bill. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> all right. Thank you, Brad Collins. That was a, that was very timely. So we, we appreciate you all for coming. Pat, Lynn, Jean. I don't always like to call names because I'm going to go wrong. I, I, I can't call everybody's name. We appreciate you all for coming, guys. Come back again. Let's keep doing this. If you are not sure, know that we can assure you that it goes a long way, every contribution that you make on this platform. So we appreciate that. And see you again. Let's see what the days ahead have for us. Thank you. And bye. Collins, do you want to unmute everybody and give us 